Joining me now is a veteran of the United States Navy, retired Rear Admiral Mike Smith. Good to, for you to join us this day. Well, thanks for having me. It's a great to be here. You uh, dedicated your life to service, military service. There's value in that. What, what served as your impetus to do that? You know, my father was in the Navy. So I just grew up with this idea that serving your country was honorable. That if you're a kid and you're trying to choose what path to go on, when I was offered a, an appointment to the Naval Academy, I thought that was an honor. And, you know, I looked at it as to be able to serve your country and to protect your country is something that you can value the rest of your life. At, at no point did I ever look around at any of the people around me and think that they were suckers or losers because they were joining the military. To me, that's one of the most honorable things that you can do. Well, Admiral, I want to make it perfectly clear. I thank you for your service. Well, thank and, you. And what is your hope for America? You know, I think these last three days have demonstrated that there is hope. Where I really was starting to feel like the, the political system was so broken that we would never be able to bring ourselves back together. I think Kamala Harris and Tim Walls represent hope and joy and, and they're focused on the middle class and they're focused on getting everyone into the middle class. So because of these last three days, I'm leaving here really heightened and, and really believe that everything I thought about our country and, and what it stands for can actually come to be again. Rear Admiral, I thank you for being a part of uh, our, our program, our special coverage of the DNC. Rear Admiral Michael Smith, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me.